Pastor Savasa from South Africa. Uh, Prophet, I'm sitting wondering, is this the same child of God like me? What is different? <laughs> Man of God, <laughs> this can only be God. But my question is one. I'm serving the same God. What is happening? God, I want to share the same place. Jesus, mighty name. And God must increase you. I come from South Africa because the anointing that God has given to you. 19, 2, 3, 4 of Acts of Apostles. And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they say to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. When the Holy Spirit is around, you are not the one doing A, B, C, D, but you are just a witness. But a question, when did you wait in Jerusalem? How many days did you wait in Jerusalem? How did you receive the word of God from the preacher man? How did you separate from him? Because of misunderstanding. What is the origin of your gospel? The person ordained me is my father. You're your father? My father is a pastor in South Africa. Uh -huh. But uh, when I grow up, the church that we were raised in, they didn't believe in prophecy and the miracles, the way how God is using other people. And after being baptized and ordained, I went and started a ministry. You were baptized to enter into that, what they were believing in. They were not believing in miracle, no wonder, no, no Holy Spirit. Here you are, you want to be like a candy. Next to me is my wife. Men of God, I saw in the vision, in my heart I was crying, God, I want you to locate me. I want to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. And you came and, and, uh, and picked me up. You said, I must, I must come stand next to you. You wanted to impart me, but your way. You take off the top jacket. It's like you wanted to give me a blouse. You unbutton the first button. As you started to unbutton, uh, Prophet T.P. Joshua appeared. And then he said, stop. Who said you must do that? His anointing is different. And then you put the jacket back like this. And he said, I want to be like you. But look at it. He was already told, no, he has another. Another what? I have a different calling. Prophet T.B. Joshua said what? You must, you must stop. Just do as the Holy Spirit is telling you what to do. But what did I say? You say that he has a different calling. He has a different father. But he too, he knows in the dream that I was stopped from giving him anything because he has a different father. This is what the Bible says, 2 Peter 1, 20, 21. Listen. Knowing this first, mm. that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, mm. for prophecy never came by the will of man, mm -hmm. but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. They spoke as they were moved by... So when he came before me, I said, no, sir, you have a different calling. You have a different origin. Once upon a time, there was a medium young pastor. He was a preacher man, preaching too much. But he got a problem with his wife. 
His relationship was no good. Let's start from that one. Sometimes he could put on a gown. I can't remember. He was on fire preaching. Sometimes he could come to the small town and preach near the tree. So brilliant. At 17 years, you met this pastor. Man of God, can you enlighten me? It is well. It is well. Mm, my soul. With my soul. It is well. It is well. This is the man who gave you the gospel of Jesus, different from your father. Now, what you are saying, man of God, I remember very long time ago, I was doing grade 12, and there was a crusade in an open area. At the end, this is the, that this is the last road of our street, and uh, they make a, a tent outside. This area was not developed, but there, this, this, there were these houses that are, are like this. And uh, I was having a problem of bleeding. And uh, I went there because I heard there were people who are doing crusade. I went there. The pastor is short. It's like him. I like the way he was preaching. I was 17 at that time. <laughs> you are miles and miles away from Uganda. You are in Venda, in South Africa. And we are talking about things that happen 20 20 something years ago because you said when I was 17 years I was still a young boy uh -huh. and the man of God you are talking about when he says like a dynamite it's true he was very strong that man of God yes. I preach like that fire on YouTube right now if I open my video I preach fire Have you seen the gown? Have you seen the gown? Have you seen the gown I talked about? You are speaking about me. I have a problem with my wife. This is why I'm here. I want to confirm another detail. As I was coming here, I met a man, and he told me when he came to my city, he was young. I am the one who took him and began to teach him the word of God. I didn't recognize him. You have told him that that man is the one who talked to him about Jesus. So I met this man from Kenya. Uh -huh. Come, come. He told me that I am the one who took him and taught him the word of God. And now he is a pastor. When he came, he was a young man, but now he is a pastor. He has a church. Let's clap for Jesus. How can this story come together? And the man he preached to is here. The story I'm talking about, it is true to their side, it is true to his side. What a God we serve. Sometimes you may think that these things are prearranged. Until when it comes to you, is when you know, eh, it is true. The prophet, the man is talking about, had a problem with his wife. The same man is standing, has a problem with his wife. 